Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by AngPro Training from AngPro Technologies. And friends, now in this video we will be studying the third type of queue called double-ended queue. So in the previous uh, three videos or two videos we have learned everything about queues and two types of queues and operations on uh, those two types of queues. Uh, in today's class I'll be uh, covering the double-ended queue which is also called as DQ. So DQ is also a queue data structure in which the insertion and deletion operations are performed at both the ends, both front and rear right that means we can insert at both front and rear positions and and can delete from both front and rear positions so let us assume a, a queue which has got seven locations so f represents the front pointer where we can delete the data from and rear represents the rear end which where we can insert the data right so this is the normal queue simple queue uh, in the case of double ended queue uh, in the front end we can perform both the insertion and deletion operation and in the rear end we can perform both insertion and deletion as well right so this is called the double ended queue so on the double ended queue we can perform the operations such as nq front which means insert an element at front end dq front deletes an element at front end NQ rare inserts an element at rare, DQ rare deletes an element at rare. Right? So these are the four uh, insertion and deletion operations on DQ. Right? So let's go and uh, understand the program. So this is the C program to implement double ended queue. Right? Using the array. Here we have defined a constant called max of type 5. And we are going to uh, declare a global variable called dq which is an array of containing five elements right so dq of max is going to be our double ended queue which can hold maximum of five elements front and rear are two global variables initialized with minus one because currently they are not pointing anywhere in the queue right so apart from that we have the display function insert front function which inserts the element at the front end insert rate uh, rare which inserts the element in the rear end uh, delete from and delete rare functions for deletion at the front and rear ends right so this is the main function all uh, right one for insert for front insert item at front two insert from rear three delete from front four delete from rear five for display right so this is the while loop so this is the forever while loop this will run forever until uh, your choice is 6 right unless your choice is 6 this is going to be run forever because while is true always right so let us go and check for case 1 which is insert front so this is the code yes here is the code ins uh, for insert front if front equals to 0, Q is full, obviously. front. If front is pointing to 0th index, Q is full, right? We can't insert an element, right? So if you want to insert an element in the front end, you have to decrement the front. That means uh, you have to make the front pointer to point to the second index right uh, while decrementing the front so it will automatically point to the second index and and uh, making that uh, will be inputting the item which is a variable here yes so where is that so here it is right end choice and item so item will get the data and that will be stored in dq of front so front will be the second index in the first iteration right 
so now let us look the operation of insert rare right so how we can perform the insertion at rare end uh, here it is if rare equals to max that means if rare uh, the content of rare equals to max that means queue is full you can't insert in the rare end if that is not happened we will increment the rare to point to the next empty location and we will put the item in the DQ of rare right so how to delete from rare if rare equals to 0 that means we are in the first location queue is empty if that is not happened if rare is not equals to 0 we will simply uh, remove the element which is representing DQ of rare right and we will decrement the rare uh, so that it will point to the previous item right so now time for delete at rare end so delete at rare end so this is the uh, scenario if rare equals to 0 that means we are in the first location queue is empty otherwise we will uh, we will take the take the DQ of rare in the item and we will print it out saying I, this number has been deleted and we will decrement the rare pointer to point to the next index right so in the display function we will simply iterate through the queue or uh, displaying all the elements right so I'll show this program expanding everything you just write this down right so everything is expanded start writing from here pause the video and start writing okay let's moving on so variations of DQ there are two variations in DQ I mean double-ended queue one is input restricted DQ here an input restricted DQ is a queue which allows insertion at only one end but allows deletion at both ends of the list that means you can insert only at the rear end but can delete at uh, both the ends output restricted DQ this is the second variation where you can uh, which allows deletion at one end at only one end uh, that is at the front end but allows insertion at both ends of the list so this is just the modification simple modification in the code you will you can achieve both of these variations right and the last type of queue is priority queue this is the fourth kind of queue so priority queue is also a queue data structure in which each element has a priority associated with it right each element has got the precedence or the priority you can also call priority queue as a set of prioritized elements right in a priority queue an element with high priority is served before an element with low priority right if two elements have the same priority they are served according to their order in the queue like uh, whichever comes first will be served first right insertion is performed in the order of arrival but deletion is performed based on the priority so this is important uh, concept in priority the only difference of uh, uh, between priority queue and normal queue is the deletion is performed based on the priority in the priority queue otherwise insertion is same as the normal queue well friends that's it for the class subscribe to our channel on YouTube like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.